Hey, 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 my friends. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I gotta tell you, I have just spent the last three and a half hours filming videos. It was a very, very, very long filming session. I had a lot of videos to film and I wanted to get it all done at once. And this is the final video that I am filming in this little filming session. And I gotta tell you, I definitely saved the best for last. This is my savings challenge video for the week. I am so excited to be sitting down to play some fun games and to pay some money to debt. And we're going to start today with the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend because last week, you guys, I totally forgot to scratch some pages here in this savings challenge book. How could I forget Miss Georgette? I don't know, but we're going to make up for it today. I'm going to start here. This is a savings challenge book from my friend Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307 Budgets. Um, I don't know that there's any of these left, you guys. There may or may not be books like this available still on her shop. I know they were like, her last batch was posted on Etsy. They may very well be sold out by now. I do know though that she's got other amazing savings challenge books. So I'm going to link her channel as well as her Etsy shop down below. And let's just get started. I have been working on this page here, this Make It Rain page. Last time we did this, I scratched two um, little scratch offs, but since I skipped it last week, today I think we're gonna do three. And I did set aside some cash for this um, month's savings challenges, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that cash out as well as my binder here so that we are all prepared. Got my stack of cash here ready to go. I'm just gonna set this off to the side so that I don't dump it all over the place. And we're just gonna get scratching. So I'm gonna scratch three circles today. We're gonna start with this one. And if you are not familiar, I do these fun savings challenges um, the scratch offs, the games, etc. And all of the money goes towards my debt, which is my biggest um, goal right now is to pay off my credit card debt. So it's my top priority. So we scratched eight. So I'm going to add $8. Five. Six. Seven. Eight dollars. And I'm going to do this as I go so I don't get confused because I get so easily confused. I'm just going to set this in a little pile right here. So that's one. Let's do this one. So, oh, not seven. I thought that was a seven. It's a three. Okay, three dollars more going towards that. One, two, three. And we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna do this one up here at the top. All right, five more dollars to debt. Phew, thank you Marlene for not making these too big. So we'll grab another five. Okay, so that's it for the savings challenge book. I'm going just one page at a time and there's still lots and lots and lots of pages to get through. So we'll be doing this book for quite a while, which is exciting because I love it. I think it's so, so, so cute. All right, now I'm gonna pull in my budget planner and we're gonna play the playing card savings challenge next. All right, let's zoom out just a touch. Hopefully you won't see the giant mess I have going on. On my table, like I said, it's been a long filming session. There is stuff everywhere. All right, this is my playing card savings challenge. It's a savings challenge that I created for myself. If you join my channel membership at any of the tiers, you also can get access to this playing card savings challenge. It's a printable, um, and the concept is really simple. You just use a deck of cards, you pull a card or two or however many you want, and the amount that's on the card correlates to how much you save. So 
We are starting a fresh savings challenge. I took all of the money that I had saved throughout May and paid that towards my debt. So we are starting fresh for June. I don't need these guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and set those off to the side. And I'm gonna give these cards a shuffle. And today we are going to draw um, just one card. I don't have quite as much money to work with for June as I did in May. So we're not gonna go too crazy, like doubling and tripling things. We're gonna just pull one card for now. If we get towards the end of the month and we have lots of money left over, we can start doubling things up then, but I don't wanna use up all of the money in the first week of the month. So I'm just gonna draw one card. So pick a card, any card. I'm gonna go with this one. And we are going to save for the first week of June nine dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and take a 10 actually and I'm gonna take one of these ones that I've got off to the side here from our savings challenge book I'm gonna put the one back and put the 10 there for a total of nine for week one and I'm gonna go ahead and write in that we saved nine dollars not as much fun as drawing two cards or three cards or four cards but we gotta go slow so that i don't run out of money in the first week all right next we're gonna flip to debt roulette this is just a fun little roulette game that i play to help me figure out how much i want to pay towards debt so i need to find the app on my phone spin the wheel right here and I created a little debt roulette wheel and it's got numbers from one dollar all the way up to twenty dollars and depending on what we roll first we may do this twice and today by the way is May 30th today started my June budget because that's just kind of how it went so even though technically we are still in May, my June budget started um, May 28th. So we are rolling for June already, even though technically we're still in May. All right, let's roll. $20. So I think we're just going to leave it at that. If we had rolled like a one, I probably would have spun the wheel again, but... Since it's a 20, that is the highest I can get in this challenge. We're just gonna spin the wheel once um, and add $20. Next up, I have Shut the Box, which is my favorite. So, so much fun. I need to grab my dice here and go ahead and close out my roulette wheel app. So if you are not familiar with Shut the Box, it is a fun dice rolling game. And I need to make room for my little dice roller, so I'm going to move everything out of the way. Don't let me lose my stack of cash, guys. I'm going to go ahead and use my blue dice. That's what I always use for Shut the Box. And I'll just kind of talk you through it as we go. So you roll the two dice. And whatever you roll, that's what you mark off. So in this case, I rolled seven. So I can scratch off any combination that makes seven, as long as it's two dices, two dices, no, two dice or fewer. So in this case, I can roll, I can scratch off the seven, the six and the one, the five and the two, but I can't do, you know, a combination of three numbers. It has to be two or less. So let me grab my highlighters here. All right, we got three. Okay, another three. <laughs> here we go again, we'll do the two and the one. And another three. Okay, so that means we are paying 
a lot, right? Like there's no other way I can make three. So we're gonna pay four plus five is nine. Plus six is 15. Plus eight is 23. Plus nine is 32. Oh my goodness, you guys, is that right? Wow, that was some bad rolling for shut the box, but good for my debt payoff. And I'm gonna pull in my calculator and double check my math because I am notoriously bad at math. Four plus five plus six plus eight plus nine is 32. All right. <laughs> Maybe I should have stopped after one round. So we've got two plus 20 plus 10 is 32. And we are going to move on now to roll your luck. And I'm gonna use my red dice. For this, we just roll one dice for roll our luck. Uh, pick any spot on the game board to start. Roll the dice to determine how many spaces to move. Move to the appropriate spot on the board and save that amount. If you land on a Sammy, roll again and save double the amount you land on. Okay. So, we're going to do this twice, and we're going to start up here in this corner, because last time I think we started down here, so six. And we're going to go this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to pay $7, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll do it one more time, four, one, two, three, four. So then we'll do eight. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that is roll your luck. And then last but not least, we have Saveopoly. And I think the last time we did this, I ended here. And I also did not write how much we saved on Saveopoly last week. So... We're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna start here for Monopoly. You use two dice, so I'm gonna grab one more dice here. We're gonna start at this nine. Hopefully that's where I was last week. If I'm wrong, I'm certain you guys will let me know. So let's see, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with this light bulb that's got no amount um so i don't have the instructions for this i'm not sure what i'm supposed to do so i'm just going to roll the dice and whatever i roll that's how much i'll save eight so we're gonna save eight dollars that's the great thing about these savings challenges you can make up your own rules so five six, seven, eight. And we're gonna go ahead and do one more round of Saveopoly, and then that will do it for this video. Seven, one, so we started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-five dollars. I should have quit while I was ahead. We're gonna have no money left. Twenty, thirty-five, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that we stopped here. And I guess I'm not gonna bother writing in the amount up there. That's fine, I don't need to. Um, yeah, let's really quickly go ahead and count up and see how much we saved this week. It's a lot, especially considering we started out with less money this month than last month but that's okay we're gonna make it work so i'm just gonna get all of this straightened out i know last month we didn't really count everything up until the very end but i'm curious to see how much we saved this week which was supposed to be a small savings week definitely failed on that account i think but it's a win in terms of my debt payoff right Okay. 
Okay. 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Let's get this counted. All right, how much towards debt this week? I'm not actually going to make the debt payment until the end of the month, but let's see how much we've got so far. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 147 dollars. So we've already gone through almost half of our money and it's only the first week of the month. So I might have to dig up some more money to add to this so that we can get through the whole month of savings challenges. Um, but I will let future Jesse worry about that for now. I'm just gonna stick this in my binder to go towards an extra debt payment at the end of the month. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content like this every single week. I'd love to have you come back and I will see you next time. Bye.